हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे टॉपिक इज कन्वर्जन ऑफ ग्लिसरॉल टू एक्रोलिन एक्रोलिन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इंटरमीडिएट विच इज यूज ड्यूरिंग सिंथेसिस ऑफ पामाक्वीन एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट एंटी मलेरियल ड्रग नो दिस रिएक्शन रिप्रेजेंट्स द कन्वर्जन ऑफ द ग्लिसरॉल टू एक्रोलिन ग्लिसरॉल इज अ ट्राई हाइड्रोक्सी कंपाउंड एंड इट इज कॉल्ड एज प्रोपेन वन टू थ्री ट्राई ऑल द एक्रोलिन इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अल्फा बीटा अनसेचुरेटेड कार्बोनाइल कंपाउंड द रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ डायलूट सल्फरिक एसिड विच इज यूज एज अ केटालिस्ट सो दिस रिएक्शन इज कंसिडर्ड एज द एसिड केटालाइज कन्वर्जन ऑफ ग्लिसरॉल टू एक्रोलिन ना वेन डायलूट सल्फरिक एसिड इज यूज इट इज नथिंग बट अ सोल्यूशन ऑफ सल्फरिक एसिड इन वॉटर सो दिस सोल्यूशन gives the formation of bisulfate ion and the hydronium ion this is happened by transfer of a proton from sulfuric acid to the water molecule so sulfuric acid is act here as an acid while water act here as a base we will know that the water molecules are amphoteric in nature that means in presence of a strong acid they behave as a base so this base water is gets converted to the hydronium ion which is the conjugate acid of the base this hydronium ion is important for conversion of glycerol to acrolein let's see how this conversion takes place the hydronium ion transfer proton to the hydroxyl group attached on the second carbon this second carbon is also considered as the secondary carbon when this transfer of proton takes place there is generation of this protonated alcohol and there is loss of the water molecule so this step is called as protonation of alcohol that ultimately leads to dehydration that is loss of the water molecule and dear students please keep this point in mind that the ease of dehydration of alcohol is tertiary then secondary and then primary that means the water molecule lost from the tertiary alcohol has higher tendency than the secondary and than the primary so ultimately the protonation of the hydroxyl group on second carbon gives the protonated alcohol and there is formation of this water molecule that is h2o which can be lost during the during the reaction from this molecule so dear student we can easily find that as soon as the water molecule is formed it is released out from here as the water molecule when the water molecule is lost the electron pair of this carbon oxygen bond are taken by the oxygen and thus this carbon will become deficient in a pair of electron that means it is surrounded with six electrons only and this represent the secondary carbocation it is secondary because this carbon is attached directly with two carbons so it is secondary carbocation and we know that the ease of formation of carbocation follows the sequence tertiary then secondary and then primary so initially a secondary carbocation is formed the secondary carbocation is get attacked by the water molecule the water molecule abstract a proton from the carbon which is next to the carbocation so when this abstraction takes place the water is gets converted to the hydronium ion the carbon hydrogen bond is being broken down and the electrons of this bond are now utilized to form a double bond or pi bond with this carbocation and this carbon like this so when this double bond is generated here it gives the formation of compound having both the alkene and the alcoholic structure so this represent 
the in all structure and it is well known that the in alls can be easily undergoes conversion into their keto form and this conversion is called as the tautomerism dear students we can see here that the proton attached with this oxygen attack on the pi bond of this double bond because the hydrogen here is electrophilic in nature as it is attached with the electronegative oxygen so when this hydrogen attack on this carbon the reaction is electrophilic addition reaction the hydrogen is get attached over the carbon which is second number when this oxygen hydrogen bond is broken down the electron pairs are now taken by the oxygen and this electron pairs are now used to make a double bond with this carbon so there is migration of hydrogen from this hydroxyl group to this carbon and there is formation of double bond between this carbon and the oxygen now next to this we have one more hydroxyl group in the structure so this hydroxyl group is attacked by a second hydronium ion molecule the hydronium ion gives proton to the hydroxyl group and this brings the formation of second protonated alcohol so from protonated alcohol there is loss of the water molecule once again the oxygen and carbon bond is broken down the electron pairs are taken by the oxygen while this carbon now will become deficient in a pair of electron so this represent the primary carbocation now because this carbon is attached directly with only a carbon so this is a primary carbocation once this carbocation is formed it is gets attacked by the water molecule the water molecule abstract proton from the carbon which is next to the carbocation as we have seen in the previous reaction so when this abstraction takes place there is formation of the hydronium ion the carbon hydrogen bond is being broken down and the electron pair of this bond are utilized to make a bond between this carbon and the carbocation so there is formation of the double bond between the alpha carbon and the beta carbon to the carbonyl group and thus it gives the formation of acrolein so dear students we find that every time the hydrogen is abstracted by the water molecule from the carbon which is next to the carbocation so if carbocation is number 1 the next carbocation will be number 2 so in this way always there will be the 1 2 type of elimination so this reaction represent the 1 2 elimination and it is a type of e1 elimination so dear students that is all about the mechanism of conversion of the glycerol to acrolein thanks for watching the video please like share and subscribe thank you